I'm here not to represent the group, but to represent myself. Is that okay? To That's fine. Yeah. Fine. That way I can give more personal yeah. Uh, yeah. observations. Yeah. So uh, yeah. uh, this will be your your personal feelings and impressions of. Uh, of uh, what's going on on yes. Mauna Kea. Uh, what, what do you think, uh, they have this huge new telescope plan, this TMT, what's your, what's your opinion on that? How does that, uh, how do you feel about that? Well, that's um, a, a, a very big project coming up and it's a lot of ramifications to it. There's uh, so many things that uh, I could cover, and yet, uh, you know, in the interest of time, uh, I'll try to be more specific uh, about that. The TMT is still in the process of approval, and that uh, it's just very recently, uh, in the last maybe three or four uh, weeks ago, the decision by the TMT Corporation to select the site that they would build this uh, huge telescope on. And it was a decision between the Chile site and the Hawaii site, which is Mauna Kea. Their final decision was Mauna Kea, that they chose, that was their preferred site. And they have proceeded from that point on to begin to uh, get things in motion. One of the things that was critical in the decision making was to get the environmental impact statement completed. And they did complete it and they had public hearing on it. And so it's in the process now of being finalized and then submitted to the uh, uh, Board of Land and Natural Resources for their final approval. Now once it passes them, uh, then the TMT Corporation has to go make application to the uh, Mauna Kea Management Board and the Office of Mauna Kea Management requesting approval to build the 30 meter telescope. And that's a process that is the, the way things need to take place uh, in that order. So after going through the, uh, the approval process with the Mauna Kea Management Board, uh, they need to then go to the uh, Board of Land and Natural Resources or the Department of Land and Natural Resources and request a conservation district use permit to build. And so that <coughs> would be given by the, the uh, Department of Land and Natural Resources after there is a hearing, a public hearing uh, for the public to express their comments. Now that would be a very long, uh, probably a long drawn out process. The, the net outcome of it is after taking all of the comments and uh, responding to them, answering them, and getting, uh, giving the public the, their inputs. And when things are all settled, then it goes to the, to the board for final approval. And if it's approved, then they issue a conservation district use permit to begin the project. Now from there on, it's, it's hard to say what will happen because I'm almost certain that there are those who uh, do not want to see this new construction on the mountain. Uh, that faction, uh, and they have a lot of good reasons, you know, and it's more to do with how the Hawaiians feel about it. You know, this is, the host culture is the Hawaiian, and uh, we need to see, at, look at their views, and consider those views, and not to just take it as negative, but look at it in a positive way that they have uh, concerns about putting more uh, facilities on the mountain. Right now, <coughs> Mauna Kea has uh, 13 astronomy facilities. Uh, 12 of them are on the summit, and one of them is down below around the 12,000 foot elevation. Now, those have been there for, uh, for a while, and it's been uh, heartbreaking for us to see all of that development and not having a voice in uh, trying to uh, to slow it down or, or to, to stop some of it. So as a result there's 12 uh, mixture of uh, infrared uh, optical telescopes and a mixture with uh, radio telescopes. So <clears throat> now these, uh, these facilities up there 
is the problem that we're seeing the mountain is has reached its maximum capacity that there's no more room for more more development and if you've been up there and you will see how these telescopes do take up a lot of space up there a lot of land and essentially they crowd each other so that <coughs> that condition exists and we're saying that's enough already you know you've got almost the whole top of the mountain our sacred spot that is, Mauna Kea is the most sacred in the in the Pacific the most sacred place for the, the Polynesian people now with that in mind you know any little consideration up there uh, however small minor is to to do something on that uh, summit adds to the cumulative impact of the whole thing so <clears throat> this is what the group that opposes the telescope look at is that this is another uh, uh, another thing that adds to the total uh, impact of the mountain and we want to avoid as much as possible any more new breaking of ground there's been enough breaking of ground and we're saying make better use of what you got now in that line see I, I personally myself I, I see the TMT two ways I see the TMT from what a tremendous uh, addition to the mountain that would be. I mean, this it's it's just incredible how listening to to the uh, uh, explanation of the TMT, the wonders of it, what it can do, and you know, you look at that and you say, this is so beneficial to mankind being able to look deeper into space at the at the glory of the universe you know that is so awesome then <clears throat> on the other hand it's such a huge structure that it has no matter how nice you paint it it still has a cumulative impact a negative as well as a positive so i look at both sides i look at the positive side and i see the benefits that can be derived and there are many there are many many good benefits not just monetary I'm talking about uh, making things right to correct the inequities of the past with the TMT it's in in the minds of the monarchy management board the university and my group that they have a genuine uh, uh, feel of doing things right the TMT people are the first ones that have come here to the islands and actually demonstrate they want to do things right. And they've been meeting with us, they meet with, they're not, they're not selective about who they meet with. They All walks of life, uh, the, the Hawaiians that are for it, the Hawaiians that are against it, and so on. So they are trying to avoid the mistakes made from the past uh, efforts to put telescopes up there. And the other part too that's uh, a plus for them is that they are looking at how they could propose things or make proposals that would mitigate the impact, uh, not just their impact, but the impact on the mountain in general, and, and offer some assistance in that area. So looking at the, the TMT people that I've met and met with and talked with, I trust them because they, 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 they feel good, they feel right, and they have good intentions. So, supporting that, but yet, see, I have to look at the other side of me, which is the most, our interest is what's good for the mountain. That is the bottom line that my group always speak of. If you have a conflict, the resolution is to determine what's best for the mountain and we use that as a guide so that we don't put personal feelings into it and we, we try to remain neutral in that regard to stay neutral so that we can make good sound decisions that are well balanced and go forth with that <laughs>